Hello, back again. This time I'm going to be showing you how to set up Recall Box so you can play some of your old uh, retro game consoles and the games. So, first thing you want to do is go to the Recall Box website, which is recallbox.com. And then you want to go to DIY Recall Box. Just scroll down until you get to step two, and you'll see a link here for GitHub. So just click on the link and you want recall box OS 401 zip so I just click the link and download it I've already got it downloaded I've already got it there so I'll just cancel that and I will just close that window so the first thing you want, uh, you want to do after you've downloaded is unzip the uh, folder so I will go to extract to and inside you've got all your files the thing I would do first if you've used the SD card before is to format it to wipe it clean and I use SD formatter so I'll just start that up it's pick the right uh, card which is H and just click format only takes a few seconds to do and OK so that's done got a nice clean SD card right so all we want to do now let me just go back into the downloads the unzip folder you just want to copy them all so I'm going to select them all and copy and then I'm just going to go well I'll go via this PC and the SD card is H so I'll just go into there and all you want to do is paste all them files in right that's all done I can close that window down what you want to do now is unplug the SD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi I do recommend before turning the Pi on is to connect the Pi to your router via an Ethernet lead it just makes it quicker when you want to uh, copy your ROMs across to the Pi now the Pi is booting for the first time all it's going to do now is set itself up which only normally takes about a minute so I'll most probably fast forward through this part When you first start up Recall Box, it will show you some of the systems. So like here, you've got Super Nintendo, uh, the NES, Game Boy Advance, Master System, PC Engine, and you've also got Doom. Uh, the reason why they're showing up is because they've got ROMs installed. And the thing I'll do, I'll show you now how to install Mega Drive ROMs. And once that's done, they show up within this screen, or say the main menu. Now we're back on my PC, I'll show you how to add the ROMs. I've got a few already downloaded, so I'm going to go into my downloads. I've got a few Mega Drive ROMs, so I'm just going to copy them. Then I go into my network, and you'll see I've got Recal Box turned up on my network because I've got my Pi plugged in via Ethernet. But you can set this all up via Wi Fi, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So I go into Recal Box, and then you've got Share, and then you want the ROMs folder. And here you'll see all the different consoles it supports. So I want to go into the Mega Drive one. And then all I want to do is paste them ROMs in. Doesn't take too long to do. Yep, they're all done. And now I can just close that window. They're now on the SD card on the Pi. So I'll just close that down. And I will just go back to the Pi now. Right, I've installed my uh, Mega Drive ROMs. The thing is now I want to get the console to show up on the main menu. So all you want to do is click the Options key. Then go Game Settings by clicking X. Scroll down using the uh, D-pad. And then click X on Update Game Lists. And click Yes again. And that's done now the Mega Drive should, uh, should show up and there it is now if I go into there it's showing the games but the thing is though you can uh, a thing called scraping and it will add uh, cover art and other information so I'll just come out of that by clicking the circle and then I'm going to click the options key again 
using the D-pad, you've got Scrapper. So if I click on there, using the X button, if I go Scrape now, the thing is though, I only really want to do the Mega Drive so it's quicker. So if I click on Systems, then X, I'm going to untick a few of these, but you can leave it as it is if you want to. I'm just doing it to speed things up a bit. Uh, keep that one, untick, untick, then click back, and then start. Right, on the right hand panel, it show you the games it's found. So as this is Aladdin, top one is the right one, so I just click X to select it, and it will add the information in for me. Uh, second game, Earthworm, Earthworm Jim. Yep, that looks right. Uh, quack shot. And see here, I've got a choice of two. That's the Genesis version, and I've also got the Mega Drive cover art version. I think I prefer the Mega Drive version, so I'm going to select that using the X, X button on my PS4 pad. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh, Genesis or Mega Drive. I think I prefer Genesis, so I'll click X. Uh, Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. Yep. Click X. One more. Thunder Force. And it is that one. And that's all done. Just click OK. And then back. And then use the circle key to quit out of that menu. I'm going to use the X key to go into menu. As you can see, all the games are there now with their cover art or box art and plus inf uh, information about the game. The thing I am going to do, I'll just go into the menus by clicking the uh, options key. I'll show you some of the other settings and there's something I want to change. So if I go into system settings, in here you can change where you store your ROMs either on the SD card on the Pi or you can swap it over to an external hard drive and overclock if you want to overclock your Pi I'll just come out of that uh, game settings the one I always change normally it's set on auto but I like it on 16 by 9 so it fills the whole screen I leave everything uh, everything else as it is uh, controller settings this is so you can reconfigure your buttons but with a PS4 controller, everything seems to work straight away. Uh, UI settings I don't change. Network settings, if you want to use a Wi-Fi. Uh, say a dongle, if you've got a Pi 2, or use a Wi-Fi on a uh, Pi 3. Just enter in, enter in your Wi-Fi SSID and your password. But I'm not going to do that because I've got mine connected via Ethernet cable. So I just go back using the circle key. And I'll just show you a couple of the games. Uh, let's go into Thunder Force. Let's load it up. To start the game, all you want to do is click the Options key or the Options button on a PS4 pad to start it. I'll just click Start again. To come out of a game, all you want to do is click in the touchpad and the options key at the same time. And it'll take you back to the uh, game menu you was in. So I'll load up. Uh, I always have Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Just click the X button to load it.
Let's have a quick game with Sonic. Bugger. Lost all my rings. So uh, that's everything set up. There are a few other tweaks you can do, but that's up to you. So as always, uh, hope this video's helped and uh, goodbye.